It is the first track final on the final afternoon of day eight of the IPC Track and Field World Championships at QE2 Stadium. It will be three countries contesting this with eight across the track. Australia, the United States and China all represented it. Weather is very difficult, very tough. Good breeze blowing should suit them as they come down the home straight in the last 100 metres. And just confirming the temperature here, a cool 19 degrees, humidity 52%, but it is the wind speed there at 47 kilometres an hour, which is the real difficulty for all of our athletes. Ballard of Australia in lane one, qualified in 104, but she has a season's best quicker than that of 101.9. The American athlete Amanda McGrory, not a great starter, but very good over the last 200 metres. Really very much is one of the real stars of this United States track and field program, Jessica Garley. Season's best of 57.59. And now one of three Chinese athletes. This is Zhao, a gold medalist in the women's 4x400 team. The Australian Madison de Rosario, she was disqualified initially in her heat, but then they re-put her back in, so she protested that. And she was allowed to start in this final. Very good in the last 100 metres. Huang of China in lane six, qualified in 57.56. She is the fastest in this field. The third of the Chinese athletes, Fang Gao, 58.08. Angeli Forber Pratt of the United States, an impressive athlete. Chinese looking to go one, two, and three here. United States want to try and break it up. Or will it be the Australians? That world record there, Jessica Gali. She'll be starting in lane three. Rebecca Wardell, a very difficult headwind when they come off this turn from the start. Yeah, blowing straight down the back straight here into the face of the athletes uh, at about six metres a second, which is incredibly strong. But they will have that as a tailwind in the home straight when it starts to hurt the most in the 400 metres. They must stay in their lanes. Six. Away quickly and... Angeli Forbert Pratt of the United States in lane eight just exploded out, out of the blocks there. Keep an eye on the young Australian Angela Ballard in lane one. But it's the Chinese athlete Huang in lane six who seems to have got the best start and seems to be pushing this pace along. Forbert Pratt has a disadvantage being on the outside. She cannot see the other athletes coming up on her inside, but she's well in the lead at the moment. Huang of China in lane six. Angeli Forber Pratt of the United States in lane eight. Where will the rest of the challenges come as they come through the 200 metre mark? This is when it starts to get difficult. And it is Gao Fang of China now beginning to slowly make a move, but it is a fellow countrywoman, Huang in lane six, who is looking the best of these Chinese athletes so far. She'll have a narrow lead, will she, over the American. Angeli Forber Pratt, the American fighting hard, but it is the Chinese athlete, Huang, who will take this. Huang of China will take the gold medal. It will be Forber Pratt of the United States who will take the silver medal and Zhao of China the bronze. That is a very good race from the Chinese athletes. Well, Angeli Forber Pratt of the United States took a chance, but it just started to come undone in that last 70 metres. Yeah, Forber Pratt perhaps went out just a little too hard and didn't have much left in the home straight.